What's up everybody, welcome to your 26th Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to loop through a dictionary and also how to use the break statement to exit a loop. So in the last, uh, well not the last tutorial, but a couple tutorials ago I showed you guys how to make a dictionary using um, keys and values. So let's go ahead and make one real quick because we're going to need one for example. I'm going to make one for ages. So dad equals 42, uh, mom, she can be 48, she can be a little older. And uh, let's make one last one. Um, say there's someone in your family named Lisa, she can be seven. So let's go ahead and make sure we build it right, we did. Now if you wanna loop through the items in this dictionary, what you do is put for item and remember this isn't a keyword this is whatever you want to name your variable <coughs> and this is going to be set to the variable dad lisa and mom it's not going to be set to the values right here it's going to be set to the um elements All right so let's go ahead and write for items in of course we need ages because that's what dictionary we're going to refer to put your colon and then put print item so once you do that, it prints out dad, Lisa, mom. So that's the main item, but what if you want the value that it responds to and not only the element? Well, to do that, what you would do is a syntax slightly different. You would put for item in ages, and that would be the same right there because that's where you're gonna correspond to. The only thing different is you wanna print out the values along with the elements themselves. So print, item and that's going to give you the same thing it did before and then also we want to print something else ages in item and square quotes and what this is going to do is whenever you put the item name inside the dictionary name that's going to give you the value that the element corresponds to so we're kind of tricking it into printing out the um, uh, value as well so again this is the value itself and this is the or excuse me this is the element itself and this is the value that it corresponds to and I keep saying element instead of keys but just deal with it so as this is how you get dad 42 Lisa 7 mom 48 and that's how you print out um, each uh, what's it called uh, I don't know what the combination of these two things is called but each of those in your program now another thing I want to talk to you guys about is something how to break out of a loop now in the last story I showed you guys how to test the condition like how a variable is less than a hundred and then you can loop through that a hundred times but there's gonna come some cases where you're gonna to want to break a loop after a certain event happens and not just only uh, uh, after like a desired number of times like a hundred ten or a thousand you're gonna to want to wait for an event and let that be your deciding factor when entering a loop and while we're on that subject I told you guys that you can have a test condition like while variable is less than four but you can also do a while one if you want the loop to go on and on and on forever so if you do a while one and the loop goes on and on forever we're gonna need a way to escape this loop somehow and that's the break statement so let's go ahead and we need a variable somewhere to test the break. So let's start right. If name equals raw, we'll have the user input the data. Name equals raw input and just write enter name. And then we have, we're going to have the user input something right here. And that variable is going to be stored in name. So now we want to test that name. And if it is equal to a certain thing, and only if it's equal to a certain thing, we want to break this loop. So let's write if name is equal to, uh, let's write quit. If name is equal to quit, break. And what this program is going to do is say, all right, I want to keep going on this loop forever until I encounter a break. Now, first I'm going to ask them for their name. And if they give me anything besides quit, I'm going to loop again. But if name is exactly equal to quit, then I'm going to break out of this loop. 
So let's go ahead and press enter, enter name, um, Craig, Tom, Lisa, Bucky, quit. And as you can see, as soon as I typed quit, the program escaped. So what this does is loop forever and ever, and it actually would go forever, until it got to quit. And once you get to quit, you know you can add this keyword break. And anytime your loops sees break, it's going to know, all right, now it's time to exit the loop. So that is your uh, quick tutorial on how to loop through dictionaries, how to get the uh, keys and values of them both, and also how to uh, use the while loop with infinite loop and how to break out of it. So I hope you guys learned a little something. Um, I don't know what I'm going to teach you in the next tutorial, but it's probably going to be awesome as usual. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you then.